uh, it was tough. It was tougher than I uh, expected. Uh, the young fella, he he brought out some good moves. Um, you know, I uh, I didn't know he had that much athleticism in him, so he kind of put me to the test a little bit. And uh, but you know, I'm, I'm glad I was successful and was able to pull it out. Uh, did you expect to win before the contest, and did you pre prepare for that? Uh, I didn't expect to win. Uh, my teammates did. Uh, our GM uh, and owner of the team, they did. So, uh, you know, I had a little bit of pressure on my back. But, um, you know, just uh, just wanted to come out and, uh, you know, do what do what the fans wanted. Uh, you know, got them happy, uh, got the judges happy. So, it was, it was cool. Klaus, you can see very nice friendship when you inviting your opponent to help for the dunk. So how did that go? Uh, it was uh, actually Laron actually told me to do it. Um, uh, I was running out of dunks on the sideline. I was like, uh, you know, what, what did I prepare in my head before? And uh, he said, well, why don't you just jump over somebody? I'm like, okay, let's do it. <laughs> so uh, I brought the young fella out there and jumped over him. Which dunk was the toughest to do? <clears throat> Uh, the between the legs at the end, um, I wasn't sure I was going to be able to pull it off. I actually haven't done that dunk since high school, uh, since I was about 18, and I'm 24 now. So, um, you know, but, uh, you know, I was glad I was able to pull it off. During that attempt, the time was running out. Did you have any thoughts uh, of changing the dunk, maybe dunking a bit easier? Uh, no. Um, I knew I just, just needed to gather myself, um, you know, uh, regain my breath. Um, the time wasn't really a factor, but uh, I knew as long as I got the dunk down, you know, the time didn't really matter. What was going through your mind when your opponent was trying to dunk over you, but he just like slapped in your back or something? <laughs> uh, I was just hoping he didn't hurt himself. <laughs> One, and uh, you know, I wanted them to make the dunk as well, um, because you know, I wanted to you know to keep the competition going. I didn't want to win so easy, you know, if he if he had missed it, so. Why Disneyland? We heard your previous interview told you you're going to go to the Disneyland. <laughs> yeah, it's it's an American thing, you know. We just it's it's kind of a tradition. We just say it just to say it. Uh, I don't plan on going to Disneyland. Uh, actually, um, I'm probably just going to stay in Utena until the, if the season is over and go back to Atlanta. Talking about uh, Utena, uh, you lost a very painful game uh, earlier in this week. Uh, could you could you sleep after the game because it was quite quite the, the game. <laughs> Yeah, uh, it was tough. Uh, it was tough to go to sleep that night. Um, I actually didn't. Um, by the time I got home, uh, I actually stayed up all night and watched the game over again. I called my, my father on FaceTime and uh, watched it with him because uh, I think he's seven hours behind us. So he was still up right before he went to bed. And we just went back over the game together. The coach after the game told that uh, he sees that you have tools of being a EuroLeague or an NBA player. Is the NBA your goal? Uh, for sure. Um, I just want to put myself in the best uh, position for my family. Uh, of course, you know, uh, everyone that plays basketball is chasing the American dream of playing in the NBA. Um, I got a taste of it when I played summer league with the Rockets, uh, but definitely would love to, you know, get back into that, uh, that aspect of playing basketball. Uh, there was a situation that uh, Juventus could let you go uh, when you were injured, mm -hmm. but they decided to keep you and to extend your stay in Otena. What can you say about that situation? Uh, I'm just very appreciative of uh, the coach, uh, the the whole staff of uh, Juventus for you know believing in me. They knew my talent before I got there. Uh, unfortunately, I had a minor setback um, when I got hurt, but uh, you know they they stuck stuck it through with me, and I, I appreciate them for the opportunity again. You mentioned about the call to your dad to, to watch the game over. Is he someone that you talk to about basketball a lot? For sure, uh, we talk every day. Um, you know whether it's about practice or. Uh, or about a game, upcoming games. Just uh, he's always checking on me, asking me how I'm feeling, asking about my heel, uh, because my heel was a problem. Um, and uh, you know, we, we we talk about film. Uh, whenever I'm having kind of a slump uh, over the last couple of games, we'll actually go over some of the college games that I used to play. And he'll just say, you know, get back to the simple stuff, get back to your mechanics, and uh, just you know, play simple basketball. In your eyes, who is the best all-time dunker in the NBA? You know, what did you recognize in Lithuania? Uh, best. NBA dunker of all time, um, I'm going to have to go with uh, Vince Sanity, Vince Carter. Um, I used to watch him a lot uh, in the dunk contest when I, when I was younger. And uh, I used to, I had a goal, a little basketball goal uh, with a Nerf ball that I used to play with my, with my dad in our living room. And I used to, <laughs> used to practice the, uh, the dunks on the little goal. So, uh, you know, I'm, I'm glad I was able to uh, represent for USA out here in Lithuania in such a tough, uh, tough basketball league. <laughs> What is the, what was the most 
Uh, it's actually a shirt. Uh, my mom has a clothing line uh, called Just Marlin. Um, boss moves was a phrase that my brother always said. Uh, my brother passed away in October in uh, 2016. So um, her first line of shirts were just quotes that he would always say, boss moves, let's get it. Um, and, uh, you know, I, just, uh, I felt, you know, it was my due diligence to represent my family as well as my, my team while I was out here.